everybody, it is Tip Tuesday and I am in full hand model mode because um, today's tip is about how to clean your brushes because I get so many questions about how to clean, um, you know, gunky makeup brushes. Like, what do you do about this? Like, this is our gorgeous, beautiful blending brush, but it's not so gorgeous right now. So I'm going to show you, give you some tips. So some supplies you're going to need. I love to have, um, like, this is an old... I don't know, I think my mother-in-law made it. Hopefully she's not watching this. Um, it just got dirty and it was just kind of like a rag at that point, but it's one of those, you know, just soft kitchen towels. You can use any old, like, I use old baby burp rags. I mean, whatever. Something that you're going to um, use to kind of like swish your brush around on it. So just some kind of cloth like that. So I put that here by my sink. And then um, I also have our Mary Kay brush cleaner. I love this. It actually disinfects your brushes. Um, it, it has lavender in it, and so it conditions them too, um, and it eliminates the makeup um, residue so that, you know, you're just having that good hygiene. So I'm going to talk about this. The other product that I have, this might surprise you. Did you know that our TimeWise cleanser comes in bar form? What? That's right, a bar. So here it is. And believe it or not, I have tried professional like makeup artist strength brush cleaners. I've tried Dawn dish soap. This little guy cuts all the makeup out of your brushes. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first things first, I don't necessarily wash all my brushes with this because there's varying degrees of disgusting, right? So um, here I have one of my makeup brushes and it really just has some, um, okay, focus on that camera. Um, it just has some like dust in it. So that's a great, so this brush cleaner is great for in between cleans. Um, it's great for, you know, once you've kind of cleaned it with water just to disinfect it. Um, it's good if your brushes aren't super gunky, but like my foundation brushes get really, really gunky. And so this, this brush cleaner doesn't necessarily cut all of the makeup out of that. So I use a combination of this and that bar soap I was telling you about, which I'll show you in a second, to really cut the makeup out. So what I do with this is I take this and I spray spray some of this on there, okay? Then I just take the brush, and normally you would do this like not holding it, um, and I just swirl it around on a towel like this. So just like that, voila, all of the makeup is gone from here. And then what you have to do, this is kind of a common mistake people make, a lot of times they'll set it on a counter like this. You wanna make sure you set your makeup brushes off so that the head of the brush is actually off of the sink, otherwise it'll end up drying flat and you don't want a flat brush, right? So um, I'll lay that to dry. So then you pick up your next one, um, which is another, you know, this one's got some dark brown, I'll show you in the back of my hand, it's got some dark brown makeup in it. So I'll spray this on there a few times. And then, and that brush cleaner, the awesome thing about it, it's only 10 bucks and it's like a really big bottle. So see how all of the makeup just came out of that brush and now it's clean, ready for new colors. And again, I'm gonna kind of reshape it a little bit and then, you know, lay it flat. So that's how you do like in between cleans, um, makeup brushes, stuff like that. Now for the really gunky ones, <laughs> i.e. my foundation brushes, here's the deal. People ask me all the time, do I have to clean foundation brushes every time? No, um, maybe every two or three times, but if you have acne prone skin, you have to clean your brushes more often because your skin will get, you know, breakouts. I've actually had people clear up their skin just by cleaning their makeup brushes more often. So I do think that it's really important to clean your brushes. True story about me, I, I really hate cleaning my brushes, like really, really. So I do this thing, <laughs> instead of actually cleaning them, I decide I'm just gonna open a ridiculous amount of them. So maybe once a week or once every like week and a half, I actually clean my brushes. And you know, if you think about it, it's not like you would wear a pair of underwear and not wash it, right? So it's kind of like that with brushes. Like, and you'll know when you need to clean your brushes because your makeup is just not going on how it used to. Like you kind of don't really notice it, but all of a sudden you're like, wait, where'd the magic go? I need the magic back. So if you are um, got a really gunky one and you need the bad magic back, so I take this time-wise cleansing bar, I turn on the sink, right? I like, I think warm water helps, right? It helps all things pretty much. And all I'm gonna do, so I get the brush wet. You can be kind of aggressive with these, which is what I love. I get the bar a little bit wet like this. And I just take, and it's, I'm just like going back and forth, just rubbing it over this. I don't know if you can see all the gunk I'm getting out of it already. Look at that, 
It's disgusting, right? Ugh. And then I just take it and, um, you know, kind of massage it with my finger while it's underneath the sink. And it is just, it's actually kind of fun because you see all the makeup that's coming out of it. Now with this particular blending brush, because there's like 22,000 hairs or something ridiculous, um, you really have to go in maybe two or three times and do that same thing. Oh yeah, you can really see, oops, it's running down my arm. <laughs> um, right there, like makeup just coming right out of it. Um, and so then you just keep rinsing until like the water runs clear. It doesn't take long. And then basically, you know, you can kind of dig down in there and check the bristles to see if there's more, if you need to go in one more time. It just depends on how many times. I actually find that if I wash them more frequently, this is a lot less work when I actually have to do it. You can tell I really don't like doing this. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, it's one of those deals. So yeah, so this one's clean. I'm just gonna make sure all the soap is out. And then, you know, you just kind of wring it out a little bit. You're gonna get some of the water. And then it's that thing I was telling you where you lay it off of your sink, like so, okay? But I'm gonna do it maybe off of the other side there. Um, one of the trickier brushes to clean is this guy here. It's our dual end, like one end is the um, eyeliner and then the other end is um, eyebrow brush. I actually just take this guy and just kind of, it basically gets a bunch of soap in it and you just kind of work it around. But I use that, if you've seen my eyebrow tutorial, I use that to kind of clean out my eyebrows. So that guy has to get clean too, because otherwise that, that one gets really gunky. So there, that one's super easy to clean with that soap. Um, yeah, and then just make sure you lay them to dry. Uh, you know, I like to plan it out a little bit because they do probably should dry. Like foundation brushes, you can probably use wet and it's fine. Um, but they should probably dry overnight. And then, um, of course, this guy here, I used this actually last week when I did my baking tutorial. So this has makeup in it. So again, same thing. I take the sponge, I get it wet, you know, so it gets bigger. Water's kind of hot. Um, and I just take the sponge and rub it over this bar. And again, then you just get the, you just keep squeezing it till the soap comes out. Ow. Ow. I think my husband has a water heater turned up a little bit. <laughs> it's a little hot. Um, and then again, you just leave this, the sponge, um, you're actually just gonna wring it out really good, like so, and then I just leave it like up and down like that to dry. So I hope this helps you. It's time to clean your brushes, everybody. Have a good week.